Hi everybody, my name is Nick Rummel. The time is officially Scott's record. Sorry. Cool. So hi everybody, my name is Nick Rummel. Um, I'm one of the TAs. My office hours are um, here it is. So right there. My uh, office hours are from 4 to 6 p.m. on Tuesday um, and Thursday. Always. Um, we're going to be going through problems. This is going to be problem 11. I'm just going to pull up the problem so I make sure I'm solving everything correctly. dy dt equals negative y. So this is a, a method of integrating factor. So the way that we're going to arrange this is that we're going to, I'm going to be, for my personal notation, I really like to have um, y prime rather than dy dt. I think that's uh, helpful at least for um, just me and how I like to look at things and what I'm comfortable, the syntax I'm comfortable with. Grace just for this first thing. All right, I'm gonna have a. We're gonna start the recording at right now, 4:13. All right, hey everybody, I'm Nick Rummel. Um, my office hours are from 4 to 6 uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna be doing problem 11 at the moment. Um, right off the bat. I can tell you that this is going to be an integrating factor method to, for the solution. And the way that we see this is um, integrating factor usually takes the form of y prime plus some function of t times y equals another function of t. Um, so the first step that we're going to take here is I'm just going to rearrange it so we can see it a little better. Um, this is y prime plus y over 1 plus t. Um, and we can even rewrite that and have one and y is over here. This is our f of t. And then this equals uh, just 2. That's our g of t. But the t term is like t to the 0, which then goes to 1. All right. So the very first step is we're going to find a mu. And mu is always going to equal e to the integral times our f of t, which in this case is 1 over 1 plus t dt, um, which then equals e to the ln of 1 plus t. If you want to see that integral, it's over here, um, the integral of 1 over 1 plus t dt. We make u equal to 1 plus t, which means our du equals uh, just dt. Simple u substitution, we get 1 over u which equals the ln of the absolute value of u, um, which equals 1 of the ln of uh, the absolute value of 1 plus t. Um, yeah, and that's how we get to this point. Um, you can bring in the uh, absolute values, but they go away uh, for this solution. 1 plus t, because e to the ln of something is just whatever that is. And then we now look and we 
understand that we have, um, once we have the integrating factor, we have um, basically a product rule happening. That's where the derivation of the um, integrating factor method comes from. So we're going to get a DDT of y times mu equals 2, which is the same thing as saying um, the derivative with respect to t of y times 1 plus t right, equals 2. We're going to integrate on both sides with respect to t, and that's going to get us y times 1 plus t, which equals 2t plus c. respect to t, and I integrate with respect to t. We need to understand here that this is just the antiderivative of this term, and even though we don't have to do anything, basically the integral is just going to cancel out this derivative, and over here the integral of, the, of a constant uh, is just going to be um, t times that constant, and then plus a, um, because we have an indefinite integral, we're going to have a constant term coming out that we don't know about yet. Um, we can rearrange this to get a solution for y, but right now we need to be remembering about our initial condition, um, which is important. So now we see that y when t equals 0 equals 3, so we have 3, 1 plus 0 equals 2 times 0 plus c, and we get that 3 equals c. And then over here, we'll write the final solution, and we see that um, y equals, uh, we're going to have 2t plus 3 over t uh, plus 1, and that is your solution explicitly. Cool. And the end time office was 417.